We don't do cameras here. What's up, guys? We are here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. Bought in the uh, FXR today. I'm um, trying to get this thing dialed in. Got my man, old Mike, right here. What are you working on today? I'm working on this Honda Shadow. This is our new theme here. Um, we're going to be working on strictly Honda Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. No. It's not the theme. <laughs> But yeah, we're gonna, um, we got Mike the Tech over here looking at the FXR as well. Trying to see um, what's wrong with it. Uh, the bike is running on one cylinder right now, so we're trying to see why. Um, so hopefully we get this thing dialed in quickly and we get, uh, get out on the road, man, because I wanna, wanna ride my new bike. Hanging out here, um, little update right now. So apparently one of the uh, the push rods were loose. So that's the reason why the bike was only running on one cylinder. So we now know the bike was only running on one cylinder. Spark plugs are good. Everything else is fine. Uh, when he went around to check the, the push rod, it was like super loose. So took everything apart. He's gonna start working on that now. Uh, he put one of them in, started bleeding down already. So. In the meantime, we got a nice little shipment here. Well, they got a nice little shipment. I'll show you guys what just came in. These two custom beautiful bikes right here. Oh my God. Look at this. Wow. Uh, sometimes it's bumpy. Mike, so these came in for you to work on, right? Yeah, I got, uh, I got a fully wire the, the both of them. I get these sent down every every once in a while and uh, electrify them. This is what you used to do before, right? This is what I did for uh, for Paul Junior Designs before. All of his all of his bikes from season eleven and twelve, I did all the final assembly and electrical. Nice. This thing is beautiful. Dude, if I had to get a chopper, like this is what I would want right here. Yeah, this one's pretty sick. That's beautiful, man. Hang on, Mike. Got it. Okay, so spray as just watch the front end as it comes down. If he pops the brake, he's like... Still straight on the ramp? Yeah, you're good. Very good. Tendency to wallow when you ride. Okay, I've got it from here. Yep, so I'll make it. I don't know, man. I, like I kind of like both of them. This one just gives me vibes of my FXR because of the paint. But it's red and white. I'm, I'm not a crazy chopper guy, but this, man, this is awesome. Well, if you guys want to get your bikes rewired, some of you guys have really old bikes, they do that here. This is awesome. Well, she does that full time, dude. Yeah. Well, that sounds a lot better. A lot, a lot better. That thing sounds like it has some power in it right now. So uh, Michael, get on the bike, he'll come around. Let me know everything is all right, hopefully. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Right, other Mike? Yeah. Mike and Mike. I only work on Hondas. <laughs> <laughs> You're the shadow guy. I'm the shadow guy. <laughs> Well, I love it. What? 
I loved it. You love it? You can hear me now. Oh, there you go. I what said I loved it. Yeah, rides good. Yeah, rides great. It took it back up and down the you know the main stretch over here. I heard you. A couple of good open poles, and it did it did well. Uh, when when I left, you heard me break it up because I should have turned the gas on. Yeah. You got to turn the gas on to have. The but otherwise, uh, you know, after that, I brought it out onto the highway. I got all the way up to you know where Bergen was and all that. I took it up over a hundred and handled nice and straight. It, she does over 100? She does over 100. I haven't, well, I haven't gotten over 40 on it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's it, though. The fairing is, is holding her back. You know what I mean? You're, you're, you can hold her open for a, for a hot minute. And yeah. Your weight versus mine. And downhill, you'll probably get, you know, 105, 110. But that's, I only got like 103, 104. No, no, that's, that's more than fine. Awesome. Yep. So what do you think? I, I, I know that you're, you're, you're a old school bike lover guy, man. I am. I think I think it's great. I think it, I think the you know whoever started this project you know got the right direction going. The uh, the engine is certainly solid in there. It doesn't want to get wavy. It doesn't feel loose at you know high highway speeds or anything like that. Uh, but you know some some tender love and care here and there. Maybe some changes in the in the engine to give you a little bit more ass out of it. Yeah, you were telling me about that. So um, we're. Uh, but otherwise, be... I enjoy the shit out of it, man. Good. Happy to hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And uh, all right, so what was the main issue? We had a... Uh... So the main issue was your front cylinder intake push rod was completely collapsed and the nut, the uh, the, the lock nut fell off of it. Gotcha, all right. So okay. it was just dancing around inside of your uh, your, your, your lifter area there. That thankfully, explains no a lot. Damage. Yeah, thankfully. That explains a lot. Yes. Awesome. This is why I believe in this guy, man. He fixes all my shit. <laughs> Good stuff, man. Look at you! You're you're you're, you're only here eating and, here and, 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 eat. and and working on Hondas. Yep. <laughs> That's all I do here. Guys, like I said before, if you are looking to get any work done to your bike, and uh, if you want to get some wiring done, like we spoke about these right here, these beautiful things, uh, stop by Tour Custom Cycles. I'm gonna be linking up all the description down below. Stop by the showroom. Look what we have now. This place looks different. Clean. Open. Any last words, sir? I'm going to eat. <laughs> Started right up now. Okay, that thing idle. Super happy I got that sorted out, out the way. Oh man, <laughs> this thing feels different now. Beautiful, just beautiful. There's just something about riding an old bike, man. Just the way it feels, the way it reacts to everything. Everything's just different, man. Definitely sounds really good, really clean. I idle now. What do you guys think about the whole cockpit right here? We're gonna be going back uh, in a few months back to Mike's shop because I want him to clean all this wiring up in there for me. I want everything to look really nice and clean. So they're gonna be doing that. And um, Mike was telling me about some work that we could do to the engine as well, just for more power. Just building out this engine because I thought about, you know, swapping everything out for a newer engine a year or two from now so he was like nah dude if you want we could just literally build on this base right now um this is stage two on this bike and right now and the bike runs great but I, I still want more power so he he was uh he was telling me that we could definitely build up from here we can get a lot more power than what we have now 
and this bike sounded horrible before running on that one cylinder and obviously <laughs> can't be riding around like that I'm just happy that I'm on the bike now I get to ride it I get to hear it I'm gonna be doing a follow-up video as well talking about everything that I got planned for this bike as well because we're gonna be doing a lot of a lot of little changes here and there Folk show Jerry's actually gonna pass by today and see it for the first time he hasn't seen the bike yet in person only in pictures so he's gonna stop by we're gonna do a video on that as well uh, little topic I want to do and uh, we got a beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey by the way look at this blue skies clear skies a little chilly around 47 degree ish 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 today but overall pretty good beautiful day man beautiful day to be out riding on an FXR <laughs> On the highway man this is my first time literally on this bike literally getting on it like an actual ride I haven't been able to ride her because of the little issue I had before but she feels great very smooth it's not gonna be a torque monster or a horsepower monster that's not what this bike is for. But she definitely has the power. It feels great. And I'm really, really happy. <laughs> I'm really happy, man. She feels really good. I'm gonna have to do some adjustment to the front suspension though. Just a tad bit. Anyways, I'm gonna continue my beautiful day out here, enjoying my FXR, my first official ride on the FXR. And if you wanna see more content like this, more FXR content, more low rider ass content, more roguelike content. Also, I still got the Indian at home, the Scout Rogue, if you wanna see that type of content, you're definitely in the right place. Go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. And like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.